Maria here live at Digital Health Summit, CS 2015. We're wrapping up the day uh, with Kian Sine. I should know your name because I know you for quite a while. And you're um, one of my favorite entrepreneurs here. How are you doing? Thank you, Tim. That's so great to be here with you again. Uh, it's great to be here. I'm doing well. Major announcements here at CES, and we just had the session here with the Digital Health Summit uh, group, so uh, great to be here again. So we met each other at the demo conference. You're launching an Android tablet. Um, I think it was for the, the, 50, the 50 plus crowd at that time, and um, lots of things have been happening. So what was the panel topic today? Yeah, great memory. Wow. That's a long time ago. So we launched actually the world's first Android tablet. Yeah, yeah so that was great. Uh, what's happening is uh, here at CES, we announced a few big items for us. We're entering into the consumer market, so that was a big thing. Great at CES. We also announced integration with Apple and the Apple Watch and the Health Kit. Yep. And we also announced um, uh, our mobile app. So now as a consumer, you can buy the TV. As you know, LG is an investor. Yep. You can get a TV delivered to mom, download a mobile app, and between in the mobile app you set up the TV and mom doesn't have to learn anything new. So, so give everybody just kind of a quick rundown of what your product does and what problem you're trying to solve. Sure, sure. Uh, so we're a HIPAA compliant FDA class one uh, cloud, lots of millions of lines of code, mi million plus lines of code. But at the end of the day, we're a TV based interface for mom or dad aging in place, basically staying independent in their home, whether it's a community or in their house. And it allows social engagement, integrated remote care, as well as other applications that can be delivered. Basically, the daughter can have remote visibility when they can't be there in person. Yeah. And that's really the key is how do I, how do I care when I can't be there? Yeah, like my stepmom who's in Hawaii on the big island at the end of the road past the Buddhist temple. Hi, Sandy. How are you doing? Um, you are always coming up with something new and innovative and you have some venture backed supporters who agree with with your approach so what's going on with your funding oh that's great thanks for asking uh well we just closed our b round uh 12 31 14 and oh, wow. uh, yeah yeah li literally like a few days ago and in fact there's a lot more demand so we may have to extend it a little bit just because of people wanting to get in they couldn't get into ski vacations and so forth so <laughs> yeah, exactly. so um so that's really exciting and uh so far it's a 5.7 million b round Wow. Uh, that we just closed, yeah. Yeah, because I remember you doing your A yeah. back in the day, so that kind of rhymes. Um, what's next? What else is hot? Um, in our world, I mean, uh, what's hot at CES and certainly around our ecosystem is so many hardware companies, sensor companies, Internet of Things, um, and wearables and so forth. And that's really the trend that we're going to see more and more of. Uh, from our perspective, that's all fantastic. But as a software company, our job is to connect it all together and help the caregiver, the daughter, really have a better and less expensive you know, uh, time to take care of mom from a distance. So imagine all these sensors being able to be in the background and the daughter being able to know when mom came back home. If, she, if it's 10 o'clock, she's not yeah. home. And, you know, the lights didn't go on and so forth. So home automation is what this panel was about. Mm -hmm. And so we were talking about really the intersection of home automation with remote care. Not just that the lights turn on when I walk into the room, yeah. but the lights turn on because my mom at 70 years old gets up and goes to the bathroom at 3 a.m. Yeah. And she's groggy and she typically may fall over the, over the cat. Uh, so this way, this way I'm, I feel a lot more safe. So tying that into remote care. Okay, cool. Uh, what types of partners are you looking for, and how are you leveraging the international CES to find folks who can help build your business? Another great question, Tim. So, uh, you know, we look at this uh, model, and we, we end up meeting with folks that come from all over the world and the country and look at what we have and say, wow, we got to have that. we got to sell it or we got to distribute it. So the type of partners for us on the consumer side are channels that sell to consumers and have large consumer bases like the telcos, the security companies, insurance companies, and so forth. Um, on the B2B side, our core market is senior living, and this is an extension to that, so our senior living partners and distributors uh, can actually sell exactly what we have to the consumer directly as well. So there's no channel conflict, and we go through partners. So this is really important uh, for us to have the right yeah. platform like CES do that. Okay, cool. Well, that wraps up CES uh, Digital Summit live studio here today. Thanks, WebMD, and thanks for being on the show.
Hey, Tim, thanks so much. I got to congratulate Jill, uh, Jill Gilbert, yourself. I mean, t- uh, the crowds here were great. Three times, double. I don't know what. It looked huge. It's like up 40% every year. And then yesterday, they, or a couple of days ago, they're like, we got to double the size of our space, the conference here. Yeah, so digital health has come a long way. And thanks to uh, Jill and all of her efforts and uh, you and also WebMD for doing this. Thanks for the sponsorship. It's great to see you. Cool. Oh, uh, what your website again? Oh, our website is www.independa.com. So that's I N D E P E N D A.com. Cheers. Cheers to you. Thank you.